the Slav with knight c3. I'm gonna grab the pawn here. Different ways to play it. I think e5 is one of the moves. Let's develop our bishop. Okay, white has a pawn on uh, pawn on d5, but it's not a pawn center. You know, it could also be weak. For example, let's say I go here and Queen A5 is tempting, right? H6 is also tempting. You really, mm. okay. Queen C7. I see some potential here. I'll just uh, bring some pieces out first. Okay, this position doesn't resemble a lot of familiar structures from this opening. But the open diagonal is very tempting. I'll put the bishop here. Try to prevent white from castling. Check. Still can't castle, and I might have some ideas soon, with like b5, bishop takes, and then knight takes d5. We'll see, we'll see how I'm feeling. I'm usually frisky, but I'm so tired and so jet-lagged that I'm not sure that's that's my current uh, current situation. Now, now white is ready to castle now, so now is a good time to take. And I'm gonna I'm going to sack a pawn to open up my pieces. I feel like this is the right time to do something like that. Let's go knight here. Well, I can take here, I can take here, I can take here. I can also give a check and then take there. All of it looks really good. I'll go for this one. Check. And uh, I think we're up a piece for how much material? Just the pawn, eh? That's not too bad. No, two pawns. No, one pawn. Am I counting it? I have six. They have six pawns. I have five. So it's enough to just trade everything. The king is running around, which isn't usually a good thing. I'm gonna. As long as this bishop stays there, things should be looking pretty good. Okay, I'll bring my king in as well. You go. I don't think you can. Uh, I don't think you can make any progress there. But I can make progress. I'm gonna bring the king in. Like that. Now my bishop no longer needs to play defense. Check. Check. Now this pawn. Oh, okay. Just to make sure everybody's awake. <laughs> What's the move for black here? That's definitely not something you should miss. There's a hanging rook. Hello, Jason. All right. Now we're good. Just perform a ladder checkmate. Pre-move obvious captures. If you want. Check. 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 Checkmate. 
Also, that reminds me to turn on Auto Queen. There we go. Yay. Alrighty. Knight D2 against the Karo. What can I try differently here? I'll play G6. It's not the uh, not the most dangerous setup for black, but if you're lazy like me, you can be happy that you're castled without uh, suffering any any damage. But I'm not a big fan of the double F bonds. They take away some space. But is it worth the doubled pawns? Probably not. But it's not the end of the world. Black's very solid. That's always the goal. I'll go B5. Maybe Knight B6. Operate where I can. You know what I'm streaming in the morning? I also have to stream in the morning. I gotta get work done early. Because I... Gotta watch Mission Impossible soon. Oppenheimer, maybe Barbie. I have to earn some movie time, but I can't I can't get there yet. It has to be earned. Let's go queen here. Maybe I'm gonna intimidate my opponent with some sacrificial ideas. Yep. All right. Let's go here. We're hoping for this so our knight can go to b4 and pick off the bishop. That didn't quite happen. Let me try this. Takes. Hitting the queen. Good. And... I think we're up a pawn right now. That's a good start. My bishop might... The, the good thing about the pawn on f6, right? It takes away these two squares and the knight would love to jump there. Maybe bishop here, maybe knight here. That's a big pawn to win. It's a very juicy pawn. I don't actually see a good move for my opponent right now. I don't think that's a big move. Let's go here. Saying hi to a3. My bishops haven't said hi very much in the last couple of weeks, so that's also something to be rectified. They're just grabbing everything here. How many pawns are we up? A healthy amount. You take here, bishop g7, if you go there. Unfortunately, that's not a good looking... Not a good looking square. GG. The rook can take. The queen takes here. I was probably going to go bishop g7. Load up the bishop. Denmark. Alright. Let's go... We'll play bishop f5. Is this theory? C4 this early on. My transpose, I guess. Let me take here if H five, we'll go bishop here. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I was just curious. Let's make sure our bishop doesn't get trapped. One of the, I mean, strategic, you know, goals here is like if black gets castled or gets developed, d4 is a, a weak pawn long term, so. 
it really struggles to advance any further. And then if you can't advance, then black builds up on the D file and gets a bit of uh, pressure for free or a relatively low cost. So generally speaking, you don't try to trade a ton as white here. Because then you're just left with this pawn on, uh, on D4. Well, I got some ideas here, and I'm hitting this. So this bishop d2 move, white didn't want to trade, understandably, but, but, you know, this also looks a bit tricky. I'll even take here. I'll grab d2. I don't think my queen gets trapped. If my queen gets trapped, you can laugh at me. can do more than laugh at me. Although I might try to trade the queens off with queen g5. Sometimes it's like, do I want two pawns or do I want a safe position? And I think I'm more inclined to go for safety. Let me go here. I'll take because this is the tempo. And then I'll take here. And I'll be three pawns up. Yay. Check. Inside castle. Now he's pissed off. Because not only do I get to castle, but I am three pawns up. So I wasn't very nice this game. Just moving the king out of the way so this is no longer a pin. If the knight goes here, we can just give a check. Um... develop some pieces what to do here all right develop some some more pieces I'm having a bit of fun <laughs> oh you got to resign if night here I was just going to keep marching the pawns until they run into space. But I'm up four pawns. That was that was good. Hey, Zuda. Hey, Goblin. It was all fine here. Bishop d2 was a mistake. Everything else was good, and I think uh, my opponent was doing, doing quite okay. And here I started to play pretty precisely. Yeah. the way she goes. Rostakis, good luck. B4. Well, fortunately, that's not too theoretical. You don't want it to be. It doesn't really affect our setup, as far as I know. Don't quote me on that, by the way. But uh, I'm just going to play like a reverse London now. Well, I was going to say that. White's starting to take and play knight d4 which would be annoying. So in this case, I will I will sidestep. Plus, it doesn't make a lot of sense to take, right? Because then we're also giving white the A file, which kind of justifies their opening. I'm just going to play carefree here. I don't have a good position, but I don't have a bad position, which that's OK. Tuck the bishop in. Yeah, th think of this like a reverse London. Hard questions are coming soon, though. Once I start running out of natural moves, Bishop d6 looks a bit active. Queen e7, develop the rooks. But at some point, I'm expecting white to make a decision over here. I got, I don't know, I'll. I can play d4, it's covered. Taking here, I'm not really going to initiate unless I see a good reason. This move... Uh, this move is interesting. You know what, I'm going to take. Because this pawn looks a little loose to me. Maybe I can b grab it by going rook c6. What do you think? It looks interesting, at least. Because I don't see how white can easily support it. You don't, like... looks a little awkward. That might just be me. 
Okay. Take care. This is a committal move. Okay, I'm just going for this structure because this pawn is defended, that's true, but on the other hand, isolated pawn. So let's put the bishop on d5. That looks like a good square. But yeah, isolated pawn is a weakness. This is a weakness, I think. Although he's being a little annoying. Trying to figure out, okay, you know what? Let's go here. I'm thinking about something ambitious with queen h4, but let's see. Maybe I'll change my mind. Knight here wouldn't surprise me. I have to watch out for uh, some sort of skewer or something. So I'm actually going to move out of the way and transfer my queen to f6. Hopefully that's not too stupid. Or h4. I like this knight. I don't like how crammed I am on the queen side. Let's start with this. Let's get a you know, little flirty. Check. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think that's a big blunder because I have knight g3 and meat spin. Check, 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 check. Yep. Do you see the uh, win? Why did white resign? What's the mating sequence? What is the mating sequence here? I will not proceed until you show me definitive checkmate. After king h1, which is the only legal move here, right? This is illegal. Knight g3 check. Only move. Knight e2 check. No matter what. Queen g1 is checkmate. Next move. But you can torture your opponent. And that might be, you know, check. The difference is, here... It's no longer checkmate on on g1. But if you want to torture them, this would be the move. Just take the knight and continue the discovered checks. So this is a good, nice, quick mate. Explosive, because I was... Uh, I think I am doing well here, but... Like, let's say g3 was played. I can take here, I can go queen f6. White's a little offside. Probably taking here is good. C6, D5. No, not many people have played the exchange yet. Um, I'm going to try A6. The quiet move, yes. But... In these slow Slavs, it is actually allowed. White's not putting significant pressure on the center. Both sides are kind of choosing to uh, develop in their preferred way, so... I'm going to go Queen B8. One of White's main ideas is to go Knight E5 and cramp the position. So I would like to stop that. Interesting. Okay, I'm going bishop g6. I'm a little scared. My opponent is... Uh, let me take. I'm going to go here. They're doing, they're doing something good. They're just going to put a piece on e5 and just be very annoying like that. And I think that's, that's a pretty effective way of playing me. I've definitely struggled against it before. Because I don't have intention of taking here. 
Okay, that move, I'm not entirely sure about. Let's see. Let me take here first. Holy smokes, what's going on here? I keep saying I don't want to take this, but if I continue that line of thought, it might be too late. Let's go here. I'm a little scared. White's very active here. I've definitely uh, <laughs> done a poor job. But I'd like to think the jury's not out yet. Not entirely, at least. Let me figure this out. I have to think, and I don't like thinking. I mean it. I don't like thinking. There's a lot of activity here. A lot of activity coming from my opponent. I'm not sure if losing the exchange is my worst concern, but it's definitely not a positive development. I'm, I'm getting my butt kicked here. Ronaldo. They got Ronaldo in their name. He's scoring goals in Saudi Arabia. Not very nice. Jeez. Terrible move by me, by the way. A disturbingly bad move. But we have a knight for a rook. Sorry, knight and a pawn for a rook. And I've had worse than that in my life. The good thing about losing thousands of games is it's just uh, second nature for me now. Check. Check. I have a few tricks up my sleeve as well, like that. But I need more than that. This guy is a tricky one. I want to trade ladies as soon as possible. Check. That's, uh, that's also good. Now I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run, boy. Yeah. Oof, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. At the Get a bit lucky. No, something went wrong around here. <laughs> I wasted time moving my queen around. That's clear. But what else did I do wrong? 
Maybe bishop b4 would have been good here. Even here, I thought I was doing okay. I'd like to blame the viewers. This would have been good. Check. If you go here, I take. You move your king somewhere. I still take. Yeah, that would have been better. Oh, we got an I am here. Holy smokes. All right. For 2300. Maybe uh, we just saw them as well. This is the Catalonian flag, huh? Okay. We'll play, play the solid Caro. Hopefully. Go A6. Ultra timid. Ninety seven. I'm uh, slowly working my way towards C5, but I'm not sure it's going to come to fruition. So let's change gears. Bring a knight to F5 and fight over here like that that seems reasonable i want to play c5 though that's for sure time to play c5 i mean this position seems good out of the opening if i can castle which i don't see how that wouldn't happen. What am I missing out on? If bishop takes. I take on f2. If there. I'll offer a trade queens. Yeah. Am I up upon or not? Tell me the truth. Okay, we're going to take here. Defend b7. Bishop here is a good move. I messed up. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. That could have been a lot worse. Oof. We're not going to make that mistake again. I'm up a pawn and I'm playing a little sloppy. I need to get rid of this bishop because it's eyeballing b7 and annoying me. Or I might go knight b3 next move. That is a great find. Shit. What a move. I fucked up again. Fucked up. Ay, ay, ay. I don't see how to defend. Here's not good. This this looks okay. Final answer, I've lost my pawn advantage, but if I can get in an endgame with pawns over here, um, my pawns are on light squares, so I'm open to trading a little bit. I'm going to need some help though. Can we get some trades please, senor? I need some trades. The pawns are in dark squares. I have a couple pawns on dark squares. White has more. And I believe that will favor me in an endgame. It's 
Let's get some trades, please. Because A5, I think, is a bit soft. I'm going to need some speed in a moment, though, as well. Okay. Yeah. Can I walk my king over? That's, okay, I'm going g5. I don't want to play g5, but it makes a little bit of sense. Oops. We're going to king walk. Go me. Check. 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 What's that move? Check. Won the race. I think the end was actually kind of clean. Relatively. But. I don't know if I have enough to win before. Something went wrong here. My position wasn't as good as I thought it was. This is a really good move, by the way. King f1, totally overlooked. Because taking here and messing up the pawns looks natural, but white does regain the pawn. And, uh, yeah. Oh well. You thought he meant to play rook f7? Uh, it's possible. Uh, I don't think rook f7 changes anything in the game. Because you just go rook g1 check, and no matter what, White doesn't have any moves, so it doesn't. That mouse up doesn't really uh, yeah, change anything at all. But usually, if you mouse slip like that, you resign. So yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't know. I thought Bishop C3 was annoying because I don't have Knight D4, and then I wasn't sure what to do with my pieces. On the other hand, it takes away Rook C1, so Bishop C3. It's a move, but maybe maybe it's not that bad, and I can go rook d8. I just didn't know where to put this long term. I, I, I wasn't like, I don't want to go here, bishop b4, I can't go here. I thought knight d4 was very good, so, but it's not clear that it is. Well, they're, you know, I, I'm just not analyzing. When I'm up a rook, everything's winning. Like, <laughs> it's not stuff for me to analyze. Like, if I'm up a rook, I'm up a rook. Like, you're right that it's checkmate. But in the game, I'm not even thinking about it. Because because uh, as long as the worst variation is winning, I'm usually happy. Am I going to find uh, this in a game? Like rook f7. Am I going to play bishop g3? If I'm looking ahead, I might find it. But I also just my queen because I'm just not. You usually stop calculating when you see a line that's already winning. Anything else is a luxury, but it is a uh, bishop g3's mate one.